Fox News alert. You just heard President Joe Biden's address to the nation after a gunman attempted to assassinate Donald Trump. The current president said that Americans should not be enemies. We are neighbors. And he called for a moment of national unity, which are all great things to say. But you have to look at the president's actions. This president has tried to incarcerate his political opponent. Uh, and some of the things he said about him being a threat to democracy and a dictator to life and an enemy of the state really don't jive with the message we heard tonight. Trump just now landing in Milwaukee with his wounds still fresh. As you see there descending the plane, Trump said he felt the bullet ripping through his skin. Something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. How this happened? We don't know if the alleged assassin acted alone or if he was a part of a conspiracy. The FBI is telling us he was a lone actor, but we don't trust the FBI. We don't trust the media. All Americans should be skeptical about what they hear. Reagan's wannabe assassin was a lone wolf. JFK, his assassin, wasn't. He had help, and there was a cover up. So our job is to be curious. This is the most serious assassination attempt in 40 years. How can a man climb a ladder onto a roof, mount a rifle, and unload eight rounds at a former president from 130 yards? We'll have a full report on the shooter, Thomas Matthew Crooks, coming up. The shots came from the roof of American Glass Research. It's a company that we'll be investigating. Did the shooter case the building beforehand? Why didn't the Secret Service, when they surveyed the site of the rally, account for this building? Why weren't there counter snipers on that roof? The Associated Press says a local police officer saw Crook climb the roof. But when he confronted him, Crooks pointed his rifle at him and the officer retreated. And then Crooks opened fire on 45. The FBI is denying that report, which is weird because the FBI never comments on active investigations. Many other people noticed the shooter on the roof. We noticed the guy crawling arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof, we can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? 
Why did the crowd notice the shooter before law enforcement? Whose job it is to look for shooters? And you know that's a little bit of a He's going to Multiple eyewitnesses told police they saw a man with a gun. How was Crooks able to fire eight rounds at Trump before law enforcement returned fire? What did you see in here? I noticed two officers that were looking for something or somebody. I was so I was looking around myself and seeing a guy on top of one of the buildings go in between one building to the next and went and told the officer that he was up there. And when I went back to my spot, I heard that people could still see the, sh the person from where they were standing. So I checked that out and I went and went back to tell the officer that if he came over there, he could see them. And when I turned my back is when the shots, when the shots started. Why did it take eight rounds to ring out before somebody returned fire? Sources tell Primetime that the counter sniper team that neutralized crooks were Secret Service sharpshooters. But the Washington Post reports that the counter snipers were local cops. Now, if that's true, why is the Secret Service relying so heavily on locals? And why did the counter sniper, snipers who had their rifles trained on this assassin not shoot first? And why is the one agent's head popping up in the air? Why isn't he zeroed in on his scope? When the Secret Service descend on Trump, why'd they stay on stage for so long? If you listen closely, you can hear one of the female Secret Service agents completely confused. This lady wasn't prepared, and the Secret Service isn't answering any questions. They skipped out on their press conference last night, and today told us they wouldn't say anything. Some of the agents you're looking at don't look confident. How do you protect the president from sniper fire if you're not tall enough? Biden recently gave the head of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, a bonus. Cheadle's a Biden hire. She was on his detail when he was VP. And he brought her back, and her main focus has been hiring more women. One of her female agents just had a nervous breakdown on Kamala's detail. They covered up the cocaine in the White House, covered up for Hunter. Naomi Biden's agent had their vehicle carjacked. How is it that the head of the Secret Service hasn't tendered a resignation today? Why hasn't Biden fired Cheadle? Biden didn't fire anybody after Afghanistan, didn't fire Mayorkas after the border. Cheadle's got to go. And nobody can trust this investigation because the same people investigating this assassination attempt produced the Russia hoax, launched a coup against Trump, raided his house, and are trying to put him in prison now. Congressman Michael Waltz says reliable sources tell him the Trump team has been putting in repeated requests for stronger Secret Service protection. The Secret Service denied this claim, but Obama had sheaths of bulletproof glass shielding him when he was running for president. And the Secret Service won't even check a roof with a clear line of sight to Trump's stage. This is one of the biggest moments in American history. We were an inch away from a live execution, and we deserve accountability, not a cover-up. If Trump can stay alive until November, he wins, but he has to stay alive as president, too. There was an angel in Pennsylvania last night. Donald Trump has been blessed. Sources say the president understands the moment and going forward will be running on peace, unity, and love. So hug your friends and family and embrace this message, but also brace yourself for more darkness because they'll stop at nothing. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.